Here I apply just single transfer. Now I will select this shape here. Click here on bevel. Click walk on normal and we'll go a little bit away and make a shape like this. Select this here and let's do here again a double chamfer. Okay, one more. Now to make this more interesting, let's select the edges here and let's use extrude. Our default value is very high for, for my model, so I will do really a uh, lower value. Now I'm go want to go inside, but not much, just a little bit. And make some kind uh, of a little space. Now I'll select the edges here because I need to chamfer them. And I will use a small chamfer here, like 001. Or, yep. Okay. All ticks on this one. Now, something similar I will do here, but without the extrude. I will explain. Now, probably a little bit more away and more inside. Yep. Now, before I do anything else, I will select this edge here, narrowing it, connect once, and here I will do the small extrude. And actually, I'm trying uh, just to do here details, a lot of details, which make the models the more interesting. Now, select these edges here, loop them, and let's try to make a double chamfer. Now, of course, uh, with more details, more polys are coming, but if you want to really have uh, something to have really detailed, you have to put there a lot of polys. Okay, gain a chamfer. Uh, let's go to front. Okay. Oh, oops. Here I uh, will do a small chamfer again. Now oh, here the big ones. All three I can select it once and try to make a chamfer which will suit for you. My value is something like this, so you can use the same values. But because uh, I'm using the mouse, you can see it's very easy to model. Now here I will do a triple chamfer, a big triple chamfer. So it will be one, two, and three. To make it really nice and smooth. A few more chamfers and we are done. I think with this shape. <coughs> okay, now uh, let's select this and this, ring it again, control poly and bevel. Bevel it like this. Now let's select the scale tool and scale them uh, a little bit away and again select the edges also this one here inside loop them and chamfer now here I will use just uh, one chamfer because it should be anyway more edgy now well, let's go to front and let's look here now uh, Let's select all edges here in this line and loop them and we'll do a nice chamfer just once to make the shape more smooth but some somewhere I need to apply a different amount so 
first of all I will do this one here and after I will try this yep it's fine uh, we can apply the chamfer of course here too and we are almost done here I think yep now for the corners here uh, you can use a shape or model it from a cylinder now I prefer to model it from a cylinder because I don't know I like the cylinder let's be honest so I will create again a cylinder now very easy very quick so maybe a little bit smaller and let's say this too I will 